Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Elden Ring. Last time we took out uh, one of the Death Riders, I guess is what we can call them, the Knight's Cavalry. Got a new Ash of War. We also just took out uh, one, another invader. But with the help of a summon NPC invader hunter, which I just think was such a cool touch. And we got a new weapon, which is actually called the Reduvia. And Reduvia Bloodblade, I didn't actually take a look at this. This is what the invader was doing, where you actually throw never drying blood stains as airborne blood blades. And it can be fired in rapid succession, which cause bleed buildup. And I just think that's so cool. And we're going to be playing with that today. Here are my stats, still level 29, probably forever and always. Pause the video if you want to see more. And we're here in Murkwater Cave, which Murkwater, wasn't that the name? I guess it was the Merc Men in Dark Souls 3 in the Ring City, so probably no connection. I'm probably trying to make a connection where none such exist, uh, but here we are. Oh, and I just alerted them all because I went through the trap, which is really clever. Oh, this could be a really a good time to try. Hmm. Can I jump? Can I? Nope, nope, I'm just gonna die. Unless I can get him to bleed. Because I wanted to try Reduvia's Blood Blade. It's a really short range. I mean, it is a dagger after all. Oh my goodness, heal. I mean, the bleed's nice. Oh my gosh, there's so many and I cannot get past them. Alright. Oh, would you stop calling friends? Right. <clears throat> that was a poor showmanship. Because what it... Yeah, and look, there was just a step here. Highwayman cloth armor. I really need to take off the parry skill on this new heater shield. Okay, two ways to go. We'll go right. Get some cave moss. Yummy, yummy cave moss. Uh, oh, boss already? Sure. Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, there's an opening right above the chest. What's going to drop on me as soon as I open it? You're kidding. Oh my god! <laughs> it's actually patches! Oh my word, it's actually patches. It's so good to see you. <laughs> oh, and he's a boss? Look at that blood. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I'm a sucker for, uh, for fan service like this. Oh. And we don't even have, we don't even get a choice. We just have to kill him. Or we don't. <laughs> what is Patches doing in Elden Ring? Enemy felled. So, grovel for mercy. Look at the Patches squat. took you for a demi-human or some such. <laughs> but an innocent mistake, I assure you. Well, water under the bridge. Now we're squared up. How about we play nice from now on? So, in previous games, if you choose not to forgive him, he actually gives you something and then you can forgive him? I'm tempted. I'm tempted, but... Ugh... I'm going to do it. At the risk of missing out on whatever he has, I'm going to do it. Slow down, son. What's the matter? This simply isn't 
like you. You don't know me. You've always known an innocent mistake when you see one. <laughs> Suit yourself. I'm Patches. Patches the untethered. Tarnished like you, only free-spirited. Nomadic, you might say. Only for now, those retired soldiers turned bandits. And they're paying for my gruel. In exchange for my, well, showing them the ropes. But honestly, this looting racket is bloody terrifying. I'm ready to wash my hands clean. Maybe set up a legitimate shop. So don't be a stranger. I'll be ready to wheel and deal come next time. <laughs> oh, come on. Really? They just throw in a subtle Gavlan reference? Wheeler and dealer? Ugh. Okay, so it's Patches. It's actually Patch. I mean, that's the voice actor. There's the Patches squat, and apparently he's going to become a merchant, which, you know, if you've ever tried to buy anything from him uh, in previous games, he is extraordinarily expensive. I did get armor. It wasn't actually armor. It was just cloth armor. Cloth garb. <laughs> uh, do you do anything now? Don't forget to pop back for I'll be ready to... Okay, come next time. So maybe I just have to leave and come back. But there was more to it. And this was only one small... Well, I say one small. This is one part of the dungeon. I don't know just how small it is. But we can keep going. Um, one of my cave moths. Now I'm hoping for upgrade materials. Oh, okay. It actually only goes this far. It's not very big at all. Alright. I didn't even check it. That was stupid. And we got a mushroom hmm well tell you what let's do this let's actually just travel to murkwater cave go back to that room and see if patches has set up shop of course i'm assuming yep enemies are still here yeah, i'm gonna try and not uh not actually trigger the alarm Since I can see them. I'm really excited about this this dagger. Wow, two of these and they bleed. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm so excited about this. Okay, Highwayman Gauntlet, and is Patches still in that arena? Or does he go back to Round Table Hold? I can't imagine he'd be even invited to Round Table Hold. No, he's there. How funny is it, though? I mean, there was, there's a new treasure chest. Or did I miss that? Was there two? I don't know. Well, nice of you to drop in, finally. It's all a bit ad hoc, but I'm sure you'll find something. Welcome to Patches Emporium, where you won't need a refund, because everything's top-notch. About the bandits. Yeah, I had those bandits make a clean break. Now they're all suppliers, and good ones at that. I mean, they don't understand a word I'm saying, but it hardly matters. We have a natural connection. <laughs> they're all foot soldiers, survivors of a defeated army. Worked to the bone by their high and mighty lord, only to be thrown out with the rubbish. <sighs> it's the same old story everywhere I go. <laughs> to hell with it all. Hmm. Wondering what's inside the treasure chest. Now I am. Well, it's a uh, nothing too special. Just something I'm saving as thanks for a very valuable customer. But then again, it would fetch some spectacular coin. And besides, this valuable customer could be a long time coming. Huh? Everything is give and take. Give and take. No. Cheers for that. Okay, does that mean it's locked? No. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Patches, you son of a gun! Well, well, well. 
I should have known, you skinny little thief. The gods demand vengeance. Vengeance! What? So help me if you send me back to Caelid. <laughs> That's a big bear. That's a big bear. Uh, that, I think, is a map fragment. Oh, that's another big bear with a tree behind it, though. Where am I? Oh, okay. There's the uh, the sending gate. I'm going to go back to Patches, though. We're going to have some words. I'm assuming that's hostile. Yeah, yeah, you're hostile. Yes, it is another map fragment. Nice. So there's East Limb Grave. Okay. Oh, wow. So... I went only to here, and I thought I'd seen a lot of the world, and uh, frankly, there's a lot more. But I do want that item, whatever that is. And so, at the risk of this going horribly wrong, here we go. Go oh, golly! Wolves, do your thing quickly. Quickly now. No, wolves, go back. Don't disappear on me. Why would you disappear? Oh, there's the bleeding. Oh boy, okay. Let's see if we can get behind him and just slash, because that bleed is pretty good. Look at him just tearing down these trees. You know what, though? While he's preoccupied, where is that item? Missed it. Right here. Hey, another cookbook. Great. Okay, that would probably would have been a bad grab. How am I not getting another uh, bleed? Uh-oh. He's making me bleed now. Back up, back up. Oh, gosh. Good, perfect. I can heal. Oh, actually, you're very weak to magic. But I'm weak to bear. Please stop with that! I almost have you! You might just... Patches! Duck on it. Well, I do want my runes, and then I think we're just going to head back to Patches' cave. Assuming we can. You cannot... Oh, you've been trapped! Oh, how interesting! I didn't know that that was a mechanic. Alright, well then tell you what. I want to go find out whatever that is behind that other big old bear. Then we'll look for a site of grace, then we'll travel. So that's how the trap chests work. Hi. Wait. Um, these are like the footprints that I've seen before on the beach. Actually, a couple times. Um, I'm gonna have to just kind of skedaddle though, because I don't want the bear to see me. Yeah, where are you leading me? More gold poop? You better not be leading me to the map fragment, because, uh, spoiler alert, already got it. Uh, 
Oh, you're so slow. Thank you, stealth. Oh, come on, my friend. Do you have to amble? Like, is this a thing you have to do? That's another bear, and that bear might actually be bigger. Are there different size bears? I mean, in the world, yes, but in, in Elden Ring? Oh, this guy. There's a, uh, is that a Stake America? It is, you can see the symbol up in the top left. You're bringing me to this hold, aren't you? Boy, I am, all right. You led me to a bear, Mistwood Ruins. Okay. Why? Oh, that's why I was standing up because I was... Oh, hey. I was uh, constantly blocking. Level 2 smithing stone. All right. Do you like to... S Do you like to see that? You know what I could do is summon the imps because I know that the bears can bleed. That might be the way to go. Yeah, he's actually... Oh, crud. Silly blue. Silly blue. Silly blue is silly. Oh, that's not silly. That's really scary. Okay, go after them. Go after them exclusively. You definitely did not understand your assignment. Oh, hey, there's a bleed. Oh, good. Yeah, let's hit him with the shield. Okay, run away. How the, the imps are actually doing well damage wise like their own damage there's another bleed uh, what I could do right now though is just take him out with some pebble because he is definitely weak to magic there we go. How much you worth? Eleven ninety six. Not bad. Whoa, that was a lot of stuff. I got beast blood. Beasts, beasts all over the shop. Um, crafting item. Yes, indeed. Found by hunter and carnivorous beasts. Excellent. Now, also, let's take a look at crafting because I should be able to make some new stuff. I just don't know what. Is it the fetid pot? Okay, that's poison. Yeah, fetid pot and rope fetid pot. That's that's what I learned. Okay, um, there's an underground though. And underground often has some uh, some good stuff. Ooh, Trina's lily. Yes, I need to start using those. Need to start using those sleep arrows. I've gotten some good stuff in these. Little uh, mini dun- not even really mini dungeons, just, I guess, this. <laughs> axe talisman. I love it, but I don't have an axe. Where's my straight sword talisman? Also, where can I find the Sight of Grace? I need one. Okay, let's, uh, let's get on the horse. There's a- 
large tree right there. You know, let's just go north. Let's go north until I hit the path. There's got to be... Oh, there's a bear. There has to be a site of grace somewhere nearby, right? Oh my gosh, there's bears everywhere. These are small ones, though. Come on, there's got to be one on the main path somewhere, right? Oh, yep, just on the other side of this rock. Well, on that note, let's rest. Uh, I can't level, but if I just use a little bit of the runes in my possession, which I have nine of, now I can level. And yeah, we're going to do faith. I don't know what I want to get faith to before we start leveling up other things, but I feel like that's going to be good just to open up some of those incantation possibilities. And now, uh, yeah, let's go talk to Patches. I'm not done with him. Okay, let's go to Ark. Excuse me, no. That was just beautiful. Oh, patches. You know, okay, what if, what if I had actually bought something from him? Would he then have actually put real treasure in there? I don't know. Ah, oh, Ryan, you're alive. Oh, you had me proper scared, puffing away in a flash like that. Well, maybe it's a sign to keep your mitts off what's not rightly yours, hmm? But I'll forgive you. View it as a learning experience. At any rate. It's just nice to see you safe. Ooh, don't miss all the bargains here at Patches Emporium. <laughs> He's the absolute worst. Okay, gold pickled foot. Fan daggers. Throw fanned out knives at enemies to inflict damage. It's like the uh, the crow daggers in Dark Souls 3. Um, Margaret shackle. Briefly binds Margaret once imprisoned. Like the boss that I already killed? A fetish bathed in gold and magic. Shackles were once used to bind the accursed people called the Omen, and these ones were made to keep a particular Omen under strictest confinement. Though faint, the shackles still retain vestiges of power enough to trap the once bound Margaret on Earth, if only for a short time. Is this something I would use against Margaret? Because that's what, that's what it sounds like. Uh, Grace Mimic. Light shows the path, but without order. A fetish indicating the guidance of grace. Similar to grace, this fetish draws rays guiding the way, only without any sense of order. Useful as a last resort for those who have lost their way, or for use by those who believe that unrefined guides will lead to truer encounters. That sounds really cool. Furl calling finger remedy, festering bloody finger. Stone sword key. 1,000 runes more expensive than from the Twin Husks. Missionary Cookbook. Scripstone, Grace Mimic, and Gold Pickled Foulfoot. I do want to buy that. Oh, he sells a Parrying Dagger. Awesome. Great Arrows and Ballista Bolts. A Hand Ballista. Horse Crest Wooden Shield. Eh. Sacrificial Twig. Will be placed on death in place of runes. Prevents rune loss upon death, but it will be lost since this is a ring of sacrifice. The question is how, like if I buy this, it's 5,000 runes. If I purchase this and have it on my person when I die, does it automatically break? Do I have to equip it? 
so many questions. So many questions. Cheers for that. Huh. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, I am curious, though. How much is... Uh, what does it take to craft that mimic? Not much. Early flower and human bone shards. Found by hunting those who live in death. So those demigods outside of Murkwater? No. Yes? Or is it from the skeletons inside of the, the death cave? I'm going to make them and then we're going to see what it does. I'm a little I'm a little confused as to what it means by it will uh, cause guidance without order. Will it show me the location of an interesting area? Now, I'm going this way, by the way, because, well, first off, let's rest up. There was more to this ravine, and I wanted to see if there was maybe another cave inside of it. And then, uh, yeah, we might use one of those Grace Mimics. So let's just go down this way. Or, you know, at the very least, maybe like a dung beetle or upgrade materials. That's some interesting foreboding imagery. Hey, it's Yura. It's my friend Yura. Just joining the fray, tarnished. Wow. You fought Narius and survived. That alone deserves commendation. I am Yura. Hunter of bloody fingers. Tarnished. Held in thrall by cessblood. Zealots. Who stalk their own. You stay the path. You are certain to face more of them. Just remember. No kinship with their elk remains. Their madness precludes it. May your emotions stay your blade. There's a lot of uh, emotion in his voice. I like that. That's a cool helmet. Be on your way. Perhaps we will meet again. If fate permits. I sure hope so. I'm a big fan of your. All right, we have a spot for Torrent to jump. Got some slimos here. Poison Bloom. Oh, all right. Be cool if these guys were dropping human bloods too, or human bones, not so much. But there are more. Oh, and the ravine keeps going. No? Nothing? Okay. There's a path that goes up. There's a... Sp oh, no, it's not. It's just a shadow. And before we do that, I'm going to run through all these slimes. We're going to take a look at all this ravine. This kind... Oh, yeah, there's another uh, cavern. This kind of reminds me of the Valley of Defilement. Valley of Defilement, rather. Or actually, even Blight Town, where... Oh, Hello. Is that another one of those statues? Oh, goodness. I believe it is. So what I actually want to do... I think it is, at least. Oh, I can't because I'm in battle. Ah, oh, alright. Let's, uh, let's deal with them. Because what I want to do... Is I want to put a beacon on that statue so I know to go there later. That was just silly. Alright, let's just torch it up then. Until I'm out of combat at least. There we go. And yeah, right above 
one of those. I think that's one of those statues that's going to point me somewhere, which I want to check out. So it's about wrapping up time. Let's hop in here, though, and see what we have. See if this is going to be another nice little catacomb dungeon delve. It looks like it is, which means some uh, Markwater Catacombs. Wait, Markwater Catacombs. Ah, I did Markwater Cave. This is Markwater Catacombs, which is where we'll pick up our adventure next time. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're still enjoying. Hope you're getting a chance to play this game. And um, how about Patches? How about that? We have to fight him. We didn't kill him. Then he teleports us uh, right alongside a very hungry bear who did, in fact, uh, consume us. At any rate, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.